Okay then, so in the last video, we saw that we could create this markdown file right here so it can be added to our GraphQL layer and it was called dojocoffeehouse.md. So .md is the extension for a markdown file. Now, when you're making a static site using something like Gatsby, markdown files can be used as a content source for things like blog posts, new pages, or in our case, portfolio projects. Now, the reason behind this is that Markdown syntax is very, very simple, even much more simple than HTML. So it means that you can get anyone to help you make content for your website. They don't need to understand HTML, just the very basics of Markdown syntax. And then we can dynamically pump all of that data, all of those files into our application using GraphQL queries. So right now, before we go on, I just want to give you a quick overview of how we can make Markdown file content. So Markdown syntax allows us to format text differently using these very simple syntax rules. For example, this right here means bold text. So we use double asterisks to surround words we want to be bold. If it was single asterisks, it would make that text italic. We can also create headings using hash symbols like this. And the number of hashes we use dictates the type of heading we get. So three hashes would be like an H3. One hash would be like an H1, for example. And normal text is just normal text. Now, there's a lot more we can do with Markdown files. And if you want to explore that, you can read this guide. And I'm going to leave the link to this down below in the description. So it tells you how to do things like lists, add images, headers, quotes, code, and other things as well. So that's Markdown in a nutshell, but we can also add this other stuff to the top of a Markdown file, which is called Front Matter. And Front Matter is basically metadata or extra information about that particular file. So you can see it starts with three dashes and it ends with three dashes. And in between, we have these different properties and values. Now, the property names can be whatever you want. I've got one called title, which is the title of the project. I've got one called stack, which would be the different technologies I've used to maybe create this portfolio project. And the third one is going to be a slug, which eventually is going to be part of the route for this particular project in our website. We're going to use that later on. So now we have this markdown file. It would be nice if we could query it from our GraphQL layer and get all this information in a way that we can easily use inside our components. Now we can currently query it and that's because we added this source plugin right here for the file system and said we can look inside the projects directory. And by the way, I deleted the notes instance and the notes folder from the last lesson because we don't need those anymore. So we're currently adding this to the GraphQL layer. That's already there, but we can't really get any good information about it. If we come over to graphical and go to all file, and then if we go to nodes to grab all the nodes, it's just going to be that single file to begin with because that's all we have. But this information that we have right here, none of it really is relevant to us. We want the content inside of it. Yeah, we can get stuff about the file, the file size, the path of it, etc. But we don't want to output that inside our project. What we want to do is grab the different information we have inside that file. For example, it would be nice to query these properties right here so we can output those inside the React components or maybe transform this into HTML based on this markdown syntax that we have right here. Now, in order for us to do this, we need to use what's known as a transformer plugin in Gatsby. So transformer plugins in Gatsby take a data source and they transform it into something easier to use in our components that we can query in our GraphQL layer. In our case, what I want to do is use this Gatsby transformer remark one. This is for markdown files. So if we take a look at this, we can see, first of all, we need to install it and then we need to configure it inside our plugins. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and then I'm going to close this down. And the first thing I want to do is install it. So let me open up a new terminal and paste this in so that we can install it. And then once that's done, all I need to do is come to Gatsby config and then inside plugins, I'm going to register this. Now we don't need to have an object for this particular one because there's nothing special we need to do at the moment to configure this plugin. All I'm going to do is add in the name of the plugin we just installed right here so that Gatsby can use it. And that was called Gatsby hyphen transformer hyphen remark. So what this is going to do is basically transform our markdown files 
into a more useful interface in the GraphQL layer for us so we can get all the content from it. So if I save this, I'm going to open up the terminal again, come to our Gatsby develop panel. I'm going to control C to cancel out of the process to restart the server, run Gatsby develop again. And remember, we have to do that when we change our Gatsby config file. And then let's close that and go over to a graphical over here. I'm just going to refresh the page so we can see all the new properties here. And notice we've got a couple of new ones. We have all markdown remark and markdown remark right here. So this would be for a single markdown file and this for all of them. So let's stick with all of them. And if we click that open, we go to nodes again, and then we have these different properties right here. So when we went into all file and just got the raw file before, we didn't get these things. But if we use all markdown remark, which this plugin has added for us, and by the way, this won't work unless we configure this as well. Gatsby still needs to read those files, but then this right here is responsible for displaying it or giving us a better interface for those markdown files in the GraphQL layer but we didn't have those before. Now we have all of these different things, including for example, the HTML and also the front matter. So I can add these different properties inside our markdown file. So the title, for example, and the stack. If I play this now, we're gonna get all that information back. So notice it makes this into an HTML string. All of the content inside this file, all of this stuff right here, it makes it HTML. Notice where we had double asterisks, it's strong. So it's turned those into a strong tag. We have paragraph tags. We also have an H3 for the heading down here. So we get all that back, which is really nice because later we can inject that into our components. And also down here, we have the front matter, the title and the stack. So we could potentially now query this from our different pages to use it. We're going to do that in the next video, but first of all, what I'd like to do is just add in a few more MD files. So I've already prepared these earlier. I'm just going to drag them into the project folder and you can get all of these from my GitHub repo. Just select the lesson 12 branch. So if we take a look in each of these, we can see they all have the same front matter at the top, just different values, and they've all got a bit of content down here as well. So these different markdown files, they all represent our different projects. And in the next video, what we'll see is how to make queries like this from our pages inside our Gatsby project. So we can list out this information in our project right here on Portfolio Projects.